On a usually quiet Sunday morning in Alice Springs, voters are in for a surprise. <laughs> As both major parties take their election campaigns to the Red Centre, bringing the press pack with them. Hello. How are you? Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you too. A lot more for It's an unfamiliar sight in the seat of Lingiari, a Labor stronghold held by Warren Snowden since its creation in 2001. But now the party veteran is retiring with a 5.5% margin. Setting up a contest between a long-serving Alice Springs mayor, Damien Ryan. This is a fresh approach. If you want representation in Canberra, uh, I'm the person who can do that. And a former territory politician from the top end, Marion Scrimgeour. I'm frank, I'm fearless, and I, and I will uh, take the voice of Lingiari uh, to Canberra. Lingiari is one of the country's largest and most diverse electorates, spanning the entire Northern Territory outside Darwin. The seat includes the towns of Alice Springs, Catherine and Tennant Creek, where voters are usually more conservative, along with all the Territory's remote Aboriginal communities, which have traditionally voted Labor. We don't know what Warren's personal vote was. I, I think it's probably about 3%. And if you take 3% off it, then the CLP can win the seat. Damien Ryan is hoping to make history by wresting control of the seat for the country Liberal Party, the NT affiliate of the Liberals. It's been taken for granted for too long and that's always a concern. The former small business owner was the longest serving mayor of Alice Springs, holding the post for 13 years. He narrowly lost his bid for a seat in the Territory Parliament in 2020, but that hasn't deterred him from having a tilt at federal politics. I was concerned that we've been not served well in recent years, uh, and I'm also very concerned with uh, Territory Labor and, and the things that have happened to our community over the last six years. Mr Ryan has spent much of his campaign on the road, but today he's rubbing shoulders in his hometown, where there's one big issue on the minds of punters. Crime's the number one issue in Alice Springs. It's not safe to be down in the CBD after dark. Yeah, they need to focus on crime to try and keep people in town. Recent police data shows a sharp spike in property crime. The number of children behind bars is also rising five years after a royal commission into youth detention. In the same period, the Territory Government says its youth justice spending has tripled, but the community is calling for federal leadership. Both parties have sought to provide it. First, the coalition with a $14 million funding package. It's about preventing crime, reducing antisocial behaviour and providing targeted help. Then Labor, matching the coalition's pledge along with a further $79 million for justice reinvestment projects. Alice Springs deserves better than what they have had under the Morrison government. The Liberal campaign has accused the Territory Labor government of failing to tackle big issues like crime and housing. The Federal Government doesn't run policing. That is the responsibility of the Northern Territory Government. Again, I have to say, Territory Labor have let us down. I'm not going to make uh, excuses or apologies for the Northern Territory Government. I think that they need to step up and they need to act in relation to some of the issues that are crippling or paralysing um, some of these regional towns. The trends are countervailing because You'll have the unpopularity of the state government depressing Labor's vote. But then you've got the fact that uh, Scotty from marketing is on the nose with the electorate and uh, there's likely to be a swing to Labor in the next federal election. An hour outside Alice Springs, excitement is building in the Aboriginal community of Dari or Hermansburg, but not for the federal election. There's a sports carnival in town and hundreds of families have travelled to attend. 
<laughs> Marion Scrimjaw is hoping to funnel some of that energy into her campaign. But Warren Snowden has left big shoes to fill. Everyone knows the man with the hat and the mo, and you know that's certainly been his brand for 30 odd years. Um, people know my brand as well, and I've been trying to get out there as much as I can. Ms Scrimgeour was the first Indigenous woman elected to the NT Parliament in 2001. She spent 12 years in territory politics, rising to the rank of Deputy Chief Minister. More recently, she was head of the Northern Land Council, a powerful land rights group. There is a lot of mistrust out there and we need to try and turn that around. Voters in remote communities like this one could hold the power to decide who wins the seat of Linkiari. But people here are disillusioned with federal politics and about a third of Aboriginal people across the Northern Territory are not enrolled to vote. People are just tired of, you know, getting promised something and it never happens. 31-year-old Nicholas Williams is still deciding which way to cast his vote. He's a youth worker and tries to convince young people to enrol when they turn 18. But it's a tough sell. Once they do get elected, it's like you never see them again until next election. He says remote housing is one example of a long neglected issue that's been handballed between successive federal and territory governments. That's the roof to the ceiling, no insulation at all. And how hot does it get? Uh, mid 40s. Wow. You know. I've been in there since I was five. It's only been um, what do you call it? Renovated once. <laughs> once. <laughs> if they keep treating Aboriginal people like they're not smart, they're going to act dumb. A joint funding agreement on remote housing is set to expire next year. Labor has pledged to extend the scheme and provide an additional $100 million for NT homelands or outstations. The Territory Government says it's committed to holding up its end of the bargain, despite a federal audit in September which found it had only met a fifth of its construction targets. There has to be greater accountability on the Northern Territory Government to deliver, and we're not going to say that lightly either. More money is not the answer. We need some responsibility taken by Territory Labor to ensure homes are built. If that's the case, uh, there is every opportunity of looking at new programs. But in communities where trust in politicians appears to have eroded, it may be personal relationships, not pledges, that sway the vote. Well, out in communities, uh, word of mouth is pretty powerful and it's the face they know. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.